Hey, how's it going everybody? St. Cross here coming at you with another video. This time we're going to talk about marriage. This video is all about marriage, how to get married specifically, um, and what do you need to do in order to get there. Uh, first things first, the marriage system is not any way a prerequisite of the baby system. You can actually get a baby before you even get married, which is pretty weird if you ask me. So right now I've got the waited. Uh, let's go to the wedding guide. Right now you've got two steps uh, marked as done. Pretty straightforward. Just add a friend, send a gift, and the uh, complicated stuff actually comes to at step three, where you have to confess to your crush, um, and then present your love token and purpose and organize a wedding. So if we click on the confess button, what you have to do here is click on follow me, um, and then we're gonna click on send that's actually going to come up as a clickable oops, as clickable text in the event so let's go over to the person who's going to marry anglicum which is going to be rampage here we have rampage chilling out at the uh, lawyer kingdom and let's open up the chat window so we can access that all right so now that is followed let's go to rampage's marriage screen and he also has that confessed um the first two steps also done and i actually have not yet claimed the gift so let's go ahead and do that real quick now if we click on confess this time since i've clicked on that i actually have a, a candidate let's go back to uh, anglicum screen if i'm not mistaken i should also see um rampage oh no i don't all right let's see if we can get rampage to do the same announce okay i'm back on rampage's screen i'm gonna do a follow me that's gonna announce it in the world channel let's go back to anglicum all right and there's rampage's text let's click on that so it says follow so now we should see Rampage in the list. There you go. All right, so it looks like we have an existing intimacy of 20. Uh, intimacy is the level of um, your relationship, how close you are to that person uh, or that character. And it says that we can reach, we can confess love when we have reached an intimacy of 99. Now, how do we actually keep track on that? If you click on friend, um, there you go. So how I did that, just click on the heart and you'll see that it shows that my level of intimacy with Rampage is at 20. Let's take a look at Anglicum. I'm sorry, I'm on Anglicum already. So we want to take a look at, uh, at Rampage. All right, so we want to go to our friend and click on Anglicum. It should be the same thing, 20. Um, so this intimacy is shared. It's whatever your, uh, whatever your, you know, your friend's intimacy is with you. That's what they're seeing on their end as well. All right, let's work on getting that upgraded because I don't think we can click on the confess button um in that interface so let's go back into marriage click on confess i don't think we should be able to do this let's see all right so it does say insufficient intimacy of both parties reach 99 to initiate the con the confess and all we have to do is gift that person so let's go ahead and click on this one you can also access this gifting um <clears throat> interface by just clicking on your friend and click on the portrait this time and click on gift right. so that's another way to do that so it looks like i actually have something that will get our intimacy up to 120. if you don't know by now how to get those bouquets all you have to do is go into the um the fusion menu and then click on item fusion click on ticket flower up here then first you need to fuse into book um into the nine flowers so it, nine roses will make a nine flower um item and i can i can do 88 of those and then nine of these can make a 99 flower item which is this one 
so I can make eight again. So this is actually a more uh, efficient way of increasing your intimacy. Never send a you know single roses um, or nine flowers. Just wait un until you can fuse this 99 flowers, and that that's the most intimacy points per um, per flower you can get. So now that we've gotten that all out of the way, let's go back into marriage and I'm sorry, let's go back into our friend panel and we are in rampage so we're going to click on Anglicum and click on gift and we're going to gift her some bouquets so that should increase both of our um intimacy to 99 or uh, over 99 and if we go back to our marriage it's going to be the same for Anglicum we should now see that and if we click on confess just click on confess here and I have sent Anglicum a confession, right? So let's go back to Anglicum and see what she's seeing on her screen. All right, so Anglicum is right here and she has a confess icon right here. If I click on that, this is where, whether I'm gonna accept or reject. And if you do reject it, it doesn't go back to zero. You can just click on do the whole thing again so we now have this um, <laughs> this event and we now have a propose button okay so we're there we can claim the event the uh, the gift for that let's go back to rampage so if we go back into the marriage interface we can claim that now and now we rampage is also going to show the proposal stage um, which is step four so the for the proposal stage propose to your love when it, your intimacy reaches 213 now what did our to our intimacy what was our intimacy at um, oh we actually have a reply all right so this is the, actually the next step just click on confirm our st her state is still single let's click on confirm now Let's check out our intimacy with Anglicum uh, 140 and the proposal needs 213. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and send another bouquet to Anglicum. It can also be the other way. If you're out of bouquets or roses or gift items, you can have your partner send you some gifts as well, and that's also gonna work. So now let's go and click on marriage again. We should now be able to do the proposal. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on propose. All right, and uh, it looks like we also need something like a love token. What happens if we click on propose? So it's going to ask you to uh, for a love token. Let's go to the store now. And oh my gosh, we're going to need 99 red or blue diamonds, which is a shame because I don't have. Um, I do not have. 99 at the moment this is also a free to play account the night the 66 diamonds there are just from selling stuff on the market so let's go ahead and do something real quick i don't want to load up or top up um i don't want to top up anglicum that's for sure because she's my uh she's my main you know the character that i use in my free to play vlog so I'm just going to top up a, a little bit of money here to get past this roadblock. Hang tight. Alrighty. So I think we did it right. So I now have 126. Um, and I think I'm supposed to get something from that. I think there is. Yeah, there it is. Let's just get that out of the way. Orchestrator. Nice. I wish I got that on my on my main. 
Um, what else did we get? Got the first. Oh yeah, definitely want to get this so that we end up we can spend that instead of the uh, premium. And of course, our login gift for this one. So you can tell I'm not really invested too much in Rampage as I am in Anglican. But hey, what you gonna do? Okay, so I only topped up 60 just for the purposes of marriage. Um, okay, 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 let's do this. So let's go back into marriage. And now we should be able to go to that store and get that love token all right let's buy this and i think you only need one I, i'm i could be wrong but let's go ahead and do the proposal again all right so now it's it's blue let's do that so we've just sent it let's go back to anglicum And there it is, the proposal. So if we click on that. We have been together for so long. I want to be with you forever. Right, let us reject. No, I'm just kidding. Let's promise. All right, looks like it says we got married today, but I don't think that's true yet. But I think there should be a change now. All right, so there it is. Now it shows Rampage's spouse. And in the world, there's an announcement. So you know you did it right if you can you've gotten this far and you see this in the world chat now what do we do next um we're not yet done let's click back on marriage and claim the reward this puts us in the last stage of marriage and this is where we can either go with a wedding or a parade now i'm going to go back to um let's see what ha what's happening on what's this do i get um mm. Let's see what's happening on Rampage's side. Okay, and there's um, a reply, which is really just the same thing. It's going to ask us what we want to do. Um, it's actually better, I think. What well, the parade is a different has a different set of things or activities. Let's go with the wedding, right? and this is where you choose um, what kind of wedding you want to go with um, the pay to play method of course has the largest rewards um, with these two upgrade items so that's all they really that you know and the uh, gift item not too not too important uh, except for this cool title I think which is you know something that stands out yeah, so it's not a big deal really just go let's go ahead and click on oh yeah the costumes um, this one makes it makes the costumes permanent because the uh, the not the the free-to-play one and I oh, know I could be wrong unactivated could have sworn it at at one point it did say activate using costume blah 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 it's the same thing we'll see we'll see so let's go ahead and initiate the wedding for, with just the 288 you can do a let me pay or cost sharing it's up to you um, I haven't done the cost sharing one so it just halves the um, the bound diamonds you're gonna use and let's just pay for everything this is the guy anyway boom and that is gonna send some notification let's go ahead and check out Anglicum site all right so on Anglicum there's a wedding cake icon and it's up to you whether you want to agree to that let's do that and I think we have to let's see what's what Anglicum is going to see in the marriage thing it now just it now says organize let's check um, let's check back with rampage 
and then there's a reply which i think is the final card information um uh, when you click on reserve now it also goes it also goes to the same place where um, you would have to go for organizing on Anglicum's page. So let's go ahead and click on that. The local time at the moment is actually 2, uh, 2.48. And that's why it says the time has passed. So what we really want is 3 o'clock local time. And that would be this. So 1,500 hours to 15.15. That would be three o'clock local time. Serve. Click on confirm. There you go. That wasn't too hard. And here's where you can select people from your guild. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select St. Cross, of course. And click on invite now. And then let's go ahead and check out um, Anglicum's page as well. All right, so back at Anglicum, there's the wedding icon, there's mail, there's the rewards. Let's get all of that and activate it. And there it is. <laughs> activate. All right, and then the shirt. Perfect. Yeah, see, duration two days. So that's what I was saying a while ago. If you did the, if you use the bound diamonds, you get um, the the costume is not per not permanent. It's only two days for that. Right. In any case, oh my God, that looks so awesome. What is she wearing? Is is that the wedding dress? Nope. Now I lost it. Crap. Anyway. Owned. Um, let's go with the wedding dress. Okay, let's go let's get back on track. Now we want to go into the wedding. So this finalizes the time. 11.22. And why does it say 2 o'clock? It's weird. All right, let's invite people. And yep. Oh, limit. Okay. And that should be everything. Um, I want to show what it looks like uh, for those invited guests. Let's go to St. Cross's screen. And unfortunately, St. Cross's uh, emulator will not start up. I think I've hit a limit because I've got two emulators uh, using four cores each uh, for memory each. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, in any case, though, if we revisit the list that we've got going, uh, you can see who has accepted um, the invite and... I think in a couple of minutes we should be able to, you know, get this going. Um, we can also use the, you know, the the rewards from this. So interesting thing about this ring of pledge thing. This is actually unique to your um, to your character. So it doesn't. It's not shared between you and your partner or your spouse. All right the thing that is shared now are well not shared but the thing that you benefit from now is your babies so you've got you're going to have like a baby each so this is yours and after you get married there will be four of you on this screen so your baby will actually buff your um your spouse while the uh your spouse's baby will buff you all right 
Uh, what time is it? So it's there you go. So now the wedding has officially started. So everybody who's online should have gotten an you know an invite. Now let's also look at Rampage's screen as well. And if you weren't paying attention, there's a wedding button right there. So click on that. And this is where you can also do some, you know, spread some candy around. Your uh, your guests are gonna get um, chances to pick up normal candy or luxury candy, which in turn um, should give them some you know some rewards like flowers um, or or candy as well. So let's go ahead and release some. But this comes at a cost of bound diamonds, so don't get too carried away. And you can see that there is some candy there. You can also pick it up. It's up to you. Uh, easy way to do this is to just click on auto. And your character will start picking stuff up automatically. This is why you want as many people as possible in the event. So that they can all contribute to... Um, increasing the um, the ambience super easy if you've got a lot of people all they have to do is just release fireworks and that is in turn going to also give them rewards um, these wedding these ring ring materials so bound diamonds on the left let's go back to Anglicum so we can also do that with her now we're on Anglicum and let's see if we yep so she can still release some candy for our guests or we'll get the uh, milestone reward since it's already maxed we can also release some fireworks to get more of those primary spar upgrade materials it's all just fun in games now and just making sure you don't <laughs> get too carried away. All right. So we have Sky here. We have Burke. We have who we have here. We have Kitty. The usual gang. And I think this actually goes on for a while. All right, so now we have 30 seconds left. We'll be going into the wedding activity. Uh, that's We're past the most complicated part, which is really setting up, just setting up the most, um, you know, setting up the, the actual event and not missing your own, your own, uh, your own wedding. You can also send pop-ups, like announcements, not, nothing, you know, nothing too important. All right, so this next event is where you choose, uh, you choose, try to choose the right answer. I've never had any luck with this. I don't know how, you know, what the correct answers are. The antonym, okay, that I know. The antonym of black is, of course, white. Uh, will be this one over here. All right, and now the wedding, the wedding ceremony itself. We have the priestess. So everybody who's in this wedding is going to see the same thing. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> you regret. Soon. Alright. Um, might not be able to afford costumes. Yeah, this is so, the cheesiest part of playing this game. All right, 
right? And there's the moment, moment that Anglicum is now married to my other dummy rampage. All right, so now we're just gonna eat some cake after this. Again, you can just press on, press this auto to automatically eat um, at the nearest ba banquet. Only the only the bride and groom can eat from the bridal table. So let's go back. Let's visit. Um, let's visit Rampage. Wow, this is getting confusing. All right, so this is Rampage now. So only that they can eat at the bridal table, and then they can go to. I think two bank, two of the smaller ones. Yeah. So yeah, once you try getting more than two, it's just gonna, it's just gonna say you've eaten a lot. But this is a nice way of getting some flowers to increase your, um, your intimacy rating. Where's Anglicum? Oh, there she is. And after this, that's oh, that's it. That's gonna be the entire event. Um, down. there it is <laughs> a pop-up management right so this is for whoever you know if there's someone else who wants to attend if you have unsent invitations I mean, I should really pause the video right here, right? I mean, you don't have to watch three minutes of this. So I'll be right back after this. Oh, yeah. And another benefit of um, attending weddings and parades is that you get a constant increase, uh, constant experience tick. So you can see that green number popping up in a regular interval. That's experience. So if you take a look at this part where my experience is, it's, it is it is substantial. So anything any in, in, uh, in experience increase larger than 0.01% is worth doing. All right, it's almost done. Let's spread some candy. Let's spread some of that candy. One hundred, <laughs> one hundred pound, sure. All right, and thirty seconds to go. Um, we're going to go into the other stuff that this on um, this you know the whole marriage thing enhances. The first one being the couple dungeon um, and the babies and the ring. All right. So, although you do not share rings, you, you know, basically, you, the resources for for that are, you know, comes from the marriage thing. So it all gets tied. It's all tied together. All right. So that's that's officially the end of the event, uh, the marriage event. You're officially married, and um, you can enjoy the other stuff. Unfortunately, I wasn't thinking straight earlier and I did the marriage uh, I did the couples dungeon so now when you do the couples dungeon I think I can go I can put Anglicum on assist mode to go here right this will actually give you some more um, what do you call this some bet you know some rewards uh, some more rewards than you would than you would if you just were uh, partnering up with you know random people so the way you do this is you want to go into your team menu right here when you're when you're um, when your spouse is online and you don't want to click on auto entry or auto approve just and then invite your spouse so let's go back to Anglican and accept the team I think Anglicum's on auto 
auto everything so that's all right um and then let's go back to rampage yeah you see how anglicum is actually on assist mode already so all right and let's close this and go into the couple's dungeon So you also get intimacy intimacy points for going into dungeons together. Um, that's one way of doing it. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about those intimacy points later on. Now, yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't didn't work out the way that I I planned. Um, maybe it's because Anglicum is in assist mode, but these buttons here. Oh no, it's actually working. Perfect. Right, so your rank is going to increase the more enemies that you get to finish up and the more times that you activate this um, these points right here so there's a cooldown for okay we kind of finished that and you have to be fast um, you have to answer the question if it comes up here all right, so uh, that will be first. Let's go back to. Uh, I didn't answer it success too fa you know, quickly enough. But in any case, if you answer quickly enough, you should uh, get, you know, um, a better reward, a higher rating. All right, let's go now to our marriage thing. And these are all the things that we got from the marriage event. You can get more of those from the from the couples dungeon or you know just just attending other weddings so see how that kind of pulls up your 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 stats a little bit let's claim that all right let's go and to our inventory and see what that divine gift box is all about Okay, so um, here's how, where it gets interesting. With your spouse now available for you, you basically want to send each other all the gifting items that you can. And the reason being is that you want to increase your, uh, oops, not that one. <laughs> not, I, I don't even have the diamonds to send that. Uh, The reason behind that is so that you can increase your intimacy level further now and that will in turn increase the number of bu the buffs that you get from being with each other or from from having both of the, each other you know, um, when both of you are online you get these buffs all right so at level one you get at level one at 521 intimacy you unlock the experience buff of one percent all the way up to 19%, but that's going to take a while. Now let's see. Uh, how do I demonstrate this? I don't have in. We don't have enough intimacy for that yet, so that's why we're not seeing a buff, right? Now let's go ahead and do the same thing by fusing up, fusing the roses, same that we did with um, with rampage a while ago. Let's fuse those flowers. Fuse everything together and then fuse those into one big bouquet. Let's go back into our friends menu and go back to Rampage. Sorry, Rampage and then gift them those 12 bouquets. See how that, see that increase? That means that we reached a milestone. one and the last one so we're at floral point 1500 let's go ahead and send this one as well we don't need that to be in our inventory taking up space 
We don't want to send these as is. We just want to you know save that until we can make more of those big bouquets. Um, we want to spam this. All right, three, two, one, and we're out. All right, so let's check the intimacy. So see how that heart has, the heart meter has filled up to two. Um, if we click on his name, or the heart rather, you see that our intimacy level is now level two, and we now have 200 um, extra stats uh, for attack, HP, 4,000, and most importantly, 1.6% increase in experience and all all you have to do to benefit from this is to be online i think um or in the same at least within the same uh, vicinity let's check out rampage's page hmm i must have remembered this cor incorrectly let's see if i think we need to actually invite them into a team so let's go back to Angel Anglicum. All right, and accept. Wonder why the buff is not appearing. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Let's go back to Rampage. All right. So there it is. Spouse intimacy buff. Now I wonder if the reason is because. We haven't sent the flowers back. So let's see what happens if we gift back. We also have some bouquets to send her. Mm -hmm. All right. Five, four, three, two, uh, and one. Let's send that heart token. Where I don't even know where I got that. This one's from the birthday event. Oops. You know, hang, hang on to that. Um, and just send the fireworks over. Five, four, three. Two and one. Actually, we can make more. We can make more bouquets. So let's go to fuse. Uh, item. And make more of those golden fl 99 flower sets. And gift them as well. To Anglican. Nice. Oh, insufficient diamond by oh okay. We lagged. It was trying to send the uh, this one. Um Yeah, if we go back to Anglicum, I'm pretty confident that she's also gonna have a buff now. Alright. Yep, there it is. So 2.2% experience buff. Right, so that's one benefit. Uh, if we quit the team, buff goes away. All right, now let's go to, let's go back to marriage. We know more, we, we know about this. This is some super, super important to upgrade um, not only does it increase your stats, it also gives you these um, milestones which help you with PvE and PvP. That's huge. The, when I activated this one on St. Cross, it gave me like 6 million combat power. And since it's PvP, it's super important. Alright, so we know about this. The love box, you, could, you know, unfortunately this is something that needs you to purchase um, or use premium diamonds All right and let's go back to our, for the parade we'll cover that in a different in a different video this is already becoming too long um, and the last one is the baby so remember a while ago 
our baby was the wonder what happened baby family all right there it is so rampage doesn't have a baby yet that's why but if he had it would show up here and whatever your stats your baby has it's going to affect uh, affect rampage and vice versa so don't um you know don't underestimate the power of the baby <laughs> those are the stats that your your spouse will get oh nope sorry is it yeah it says that your baby will provide stats buff to them so this is what they're getting um and on rampage's side let's see This is what um, Anglicum. I don't know. It does look like I have a baby already. I'm not sure why it's not showing though in the baby family. Ah, it's a bug. It's bugged. All right. So this is how, what it's supposed to look like um, when you when you have a spouse. Okay, and that covers everything that I know about the you know about the marriage system. Um, I'll try to create a different video for the parade. But if, you know, you're having trouble figuring out why your last marriage event did went wrong, then I hope this video helped you out. All right. Cheers. Bye.